In the last episode, we spent a few days in the adventure-addicted town of Moab, Utah. We visited the vast and beautiful Canyonlands National Park And we explored Arches National Park, where we hiked through the breathtaking and challenging natural rock maze called the Fiery Furnace. From Moab, Utah, we traveled south on Route 191 to Cortez, Colorado. And our first stop was at the famous Four Corners Monument where four states and two American Indian tribal governments meet on the remote Colorado Plateau. As we arrived, a couple of tourists were arguing with one of the local Navajo about the precise location of the actual geologic point. First surveyed in 1875, the question of the exact location was settled by the U.S. Supreme Court, which ruled that its present location is the legal corner of the four states. Around the perimeter of the monument, Navajo and Ute Indians sell handcrafted goods and we found an arrow that we thought might look nice in our fifth wheel. From the vast desert plateau surrounding the Four Corners, we drove north and east through Cortez and Dolores, Colorado, up Highway 145, through Rico, and into the San Juan Mountains to Telluride. This beautiful and historic mining town has become a popular ski resort and playground for the rich and famous. And although we're neither rich nor famous, we wandered the streets and warmed up with a good cup of coffee. And on the drive back to Cortez, we spotted a herd of elk grazing in the last rays of the setting sun. And I think it takes me about, I'd say maybe 15 to, often 15 to 25 hours to yeah. make The next day we participated in the patron-only chat with yeah. Malin and Jorn, so a Swedish couple that. sailing around the world aboard the sailboat Ron. Um, we are proud to sponsor them through Patreon. A link to their channel is in the description below. Not far from the town of Cortez, Colorado, is the Mesa Verde National Park. Hi, how are you? Good morning, I'm good. good. How are you doing? Good. Do you need a map of the park? Nope, got one. Thank you. Established in 1906 by President Theodore Roosevelt, the park covers more than 50,000 acres and contains more than 5,000 archaeological sites, including more than 600 cliff dwellings. The largest of these cliff dwellings is the Cliff Palace, which boasted 150 rooms and 23 kivas. This massive ruin is thought to be the largest cliff dwelling in North America. First occupied 7,500 years ago or so, the Mesa flourished until about 1285 when drought and social instability caused the archaic Puebloans to abandon the area. In 
It was rediscovered by Europeans in the 19th century and by the 1890s had been looted and ransacked by visitors, including a Scandinavian archaeologist who burned the roof timbers for firewood and shipped thousands of artifacts back to his home country. This looting and destruction of the cultural artifacts led to the creation of the Federal Antiquities Act of 1906. We had always wanted to visit Mesa Verde, and when we finally did, it was even more amazing than we could have imagined. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. From Mesa Verde National Park, we headed west, past the Four Corners again, and into Utah, on our way to Monument Valley. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to click subscribe. Hey, you. Kitty. Thank you. Come on. Down. Good kitty. Good kitty.